I'm Liz Sarno, Extension Educator and Project Coordinator. I'll give you a short overview of the Organic Research Program at the University of Nebraska. Organic research has been conducted at the University of Nebraska since 1976. Ag researchers um, thought it was important to establish a long-term experiment that evaluated a crop rotation under organic and conventional management. The program that I coordinate now started in 2006 with a project called Improving Organic Farming Systems Across Nebraska's Agroeco Regions. It um, was a four-year project funded with a USDA grant. Along with the grant, we developed a, an organic working group, which is composed of a team of soil scientists, entomologists, weed scientists, and economists, and extension educators, organic technicians, graduate students, and others. <clears throat> One of the goals set in the first grant was to establish the university's first certified NOP organic farm ground focused on organic research projects in three of Nebraska's four ecoregions. UNL received funding for a second USDA OREI grant improving organic farming systems and in assess assessing their um, environmental impacts across agroecoregions. You will hear about these objectives of this grant from my co colleagues today in this PowerPoint. Some of our current um, organic research areas are nutrient management, weed management, cover crops, organic small grains breeding and systems development, antioxidant production in organic small grains, biodiversity conservation on working organic farms, and the Healthy Farm Index assessment of biodiversity indicators and land use patterns. <clears throat> As you can see, it's about 450 miles across Nebraska on Interstate 80. It's a rather big state. Um, Nebraska has a diverse ecological and cultural characteristics. The average rainfall ranges from 13 inches in the west to 36 inches in the eastern part of the state. Differing lengths of growing seasons, altitudes, and soils that are valuable for screening cultivars and developing crops for adaption to organic man management under a variety of conditions. Research is conducted on certified land adhering to the National Organic Program regulations. And I think that's an important point that we um, always follow the NOP, the National Organic Regulations, using accepted cultural practices and crop rotations for the varying conditions. This helps us to provide organic crop production solutions for farmers in their eco-regions. I'm going to take you to our first research center the ARBC, which is our Agricultural Research Development Center out at Mead. We have 45 acres that are protected by a mature shelter um, belt and seven acres that are part of an ecological study experimenting with cover crop mixtures. Um, they both are following the rotational practices in the area. So they have corn and soybeans, winter wheat. Um, in um, On the shelter belt area, we have a mixture of clovers that are being interplanted with the winter wheat to try to um, improve fertility. Haskell Ag Lab up by Concord has 33 acres of um, NOP certified ground. We are doing experiments with uh, cover crop mixtures, uh, oats and clovers, alfalfas. The alfalfas are fed to the livestock that are on the farm and are also used as green manure in the uh, rotation. One important part is um, to destroy the um, alfalfa. We are also looking at different types of equipment. So we found it's best to use a noble or um, undercutter blade to destroy the crop so we're not um, taking up a lot of the moisture. That's pretty valuable in Nebraska. And uh, we also received a Sears Trust Grant where we're going to be looking at uh, various methods of crimping certain cover crops and trying to directly plant into that. <coughs> um, 
Um, South Central Ag Lab is in Clay Center. We have over 21 acres in certified uh, NOP ground. This is the only farm that we are able to have um, irrigated strips. And uh, what we did with this farm is we set it up in, in strips, so that way we have better weed control um, for our experiments. And we also have popcorn in this um, particular plot, because that, that tends to do well under irrigation. And it's uh, definitely a good cash crop for the farmers trying to um, go organic here. And the furthest away out west is our High Plains Agricultural Laboratory, where we have 76 acres of NOP certified organic ground. This um, um, has a rotation of two three-year crops, rotation stacked on top of each other, so it gives us a six-year rotation. The rotation is winter wheat, proso millet, green manure fallow, winter wheat, sunflowers, and uh, fallow with composted manure. And um, fallow is every third year, um, though we've been experimenting with using partial fallow and using field peas as a green manure for a portion of that fallow period. Another important part of the first grant is to extend our results to farmers, stakeholders, lifelong learners, and uh, institutionalize organic farming principles in resident instruction. And one of our newest projects is down at the bottom, and you can see that right here. We have just um, started a student-run organic, um, organic uh, demonstration farm on UNL campus. So that's going to be really exciting. We've got a bunch of the um, students participating. We're going to have a uh, cover crop experiment out there. So we have a PhD student. He'll be doing a cover crop experiment. We're just starting out with a half acre. And then um, we're hoping to renovate a hoop house and uh, develop some small vegetable plots. So that's going to be a really nice um, thing for our campus to have. We also have a series of NEB guides in Nebraska. And we have uh, four NEB guides right now. Three are being under review. We hope to complete 10 NEB guides, trying to give uh, <coughs> farmers in our area the basics in organic production, but sort of tailor it to what the actual conditions are in Nebraska. Another project we have that was part of our grant was to look at flaming um, for weed control. Dr. Kenentovic and um, Dr. Gogos have uh, developed this service manual. You can go online and, um, and you have access to it. Thanks to the Propane Education and Research Council, they were able to um, publish this. And it's a project uh, I've been working with four organic farmers in our area, um, testing out the development of this flamer to use on corn and soybeans primarily. However, we're finding other uses with that. So that's been another benefit of the project. And flaming um, might seem you know, like a great tool if you have particularly wet weather. But as you know, we haven't been having the wettest weather. So I think it has a lot of potential for drier weather, too, um, to help farmers not do so many um, uh, you know, rotted hoeings and different cultivations. So we see some promise with his work there. Um, part of our OREI grant is to look at on-farm research for organic production. And we have been working with several of the organic farmers in our state. I think organic farmers, or like most farmers, are experimenting all the time. But we're trying to get them to um, replicate and randomize their experiment. So these are some of our projects that we're doing there. Um, and they're, they're pretty varied, as you can see. <coughs> 